Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here, my name is Rachel. I am all about doing project pans and getting the most from your makeup and I've got a really exciting video today. I am back with the intro for a new year long project which I love doing these types of projects and I've been doing them for about three years now I think, there are thereabouts and they're my favourite projects to do. I love tracking the usage over the course of a year and seeing how far you can get with a product. So this year is going to be a little bit different. For the last few years I've done Pan 18 in 2018, Pan 19 in 2019, Pan 20 in 2020 and over the years it was a great challenge doing those projects and you know doing 18 and 18, 19 and 19 but at some point it becomes too many products and I thought it's a nice clean break to finish that off in 2020 and start this year with a new type of project because I just feel like 21 products is a little bit too many and I want to be able to do other projects alongside and not feel overwhelmed and feel like I'm overworked and you know I've got too much to focus on sort of thing. So this year I'm going to work on 10 products. It's going to be a theme though and I thought that this would be a nice new fresh direction to take it in to do a theme and my theme is going to be out with the old and I feel like that fits in really well with the message that I'm trying to get across on my channel of using up what you have and not accumulating too much, making smart purchasing decisions and just basically getting good value for money when it comes to your makeup. That is what I'm all about. I'm all about using things up and not wasting them and out with the old just seems like a great sort of motto for this year's project. The brief is I am going to work on 10 products that have been in my collection for longer than is ideal and ideally they should be the first things that get used up. So the idea with using these products is I'm going to try and get as far as I can through using them up during the course of this year and at the end of the year if I've not managed to use them up it's probably time to let go of them anyway so that I don't start getting you know issues with expiring products etc. Now I have gone through them all and checked to make sure that they are okay they're not expired and I'm not going to have any adverse reactions hopefully so we'll see how we go. So let's get into the products. <laughs> The first product is a foundation. It is my L'Oreal True Match foundation. I've had a number of these over the years, but this particular bottle is the last bottle within my collection and I've probably had it since about 2018, there or thereabouts. So it's been in my collection a little longer than you would want for a foundation. It is fine, it smells fine, the consistency is fine. I wore it just last week without any problems whatsoever, but it's time to get it used up and get it out of my collection. So at the minute it is up to about here, which is roughly a quarter of the product used at the moment. And you guys know how I like to do with foundations. I try and plan so many foundations and it's not necessarily because I enjoy panning foundations, it's just historically that's what I've always had too many surplus bottles of and it's way more under control now. I don't have like 30 plus bottles of foundation anymore. I did at one stage, look back through my channel, you will see it, it was excessive, it was, it actually makes me cringe now. Um, but I've gotten it under control by one way or another by using loads of them up and decluttering the ones that I really don't like but I still have quite a few left, more than I actually need. I'm always gonna keep cycling through my foundations and this is one that I've had for probably way too long now. Now on to product number two, which is a perfume and you guys will know this perfume if you've watched me for any length of time. I've banged on and on and on about it and it is Jimmy Choo Stars. And historically this has been a perfume that I've been incredibly attached to. I've had it for a long time but I've been so hesitant to put it into a project because I've been so attached to it and it was limited edition and I was so so scared of using it up. This I've had since 2015. It was actually a 2014 limited edition fragrance and it's one of my favourite perfumes ever but I've had it for that long. I am incredibly lucky that it still smells fine and that it still performs fine, it lasts fine. 
but it's time to let go of this one as well. It's time to finish it up and move on. I've had a lot of joy out of it, but I've had it since 2015. This was probably one of the last ones available. My mum somehow managed to find it after they'd stopped, you know, appearing in shops. It was available for a very short period of time, I think. I only saw it in shops for about two months. So um, incredibly lucky to have it. But at this stage, I feel ready to use it up and get rid of it because it actually smells very, very similar to the original Jimmy Choo, Jimmy Choo perfume. If you have that one, it's just exactly like that perfume, only a bit more intense. So I feel like I'm at a point now emotionally where I feel re ready and able to finish it up because I know I can always get the original again if I want to. It's roughly halfway full, so there's about 50 milliliters to use up during the course of the year. I think that is very, very doable. I do wear perfume almost every single day of the year, so I feel like this is achievable. On to product number three, and you guys are gonna think I am insane for trying to finish this up, but wait till you see where I'm up to with it. And it is the RCMA No Color Powder, and I've had this since I think it was February 2018. I went back through my Beauty Bay orders to see when I ordered this. You know, that's dedication. I couldn't remember, but I remembered I ordered it online, so I went back through my orders. It was February 2018, and I'm gonna use this up finally once and for all and it's doable look how little i've got left of this i don't think i've ever seen anybody finish this up and i've been making a conscious effort to use this up over the last two years i think i've been mentioning that i don't really like it it doesn't really agree well with my skin but i've persevered with it and i've been using it on and on and on and i'm finally getting somewhere with it and I'll tell you what, I will never repurchase this again. I just will not, it's so messy. I don't really like the salt shaker. I've got to empty it onto a palette to use it and it just gets everywhere. There's no way of measuring out how much you apply to your brush. So then you're knocking your brush on the back of your hand to get the excess powder off because if you put too much on, you'll just look like the Saharan desert. So it just, there's a whole host of practicality issues with this product that just make me think, do you know what? It's such good value for money, but it's just not worth it. I would rather get something else where I can more easily measure how much I'm gonna to apply to my face. But saying that, even with using it almost constantly for the past year, it has taken since 2018 to get this far. I mean, for the longest time I didn't touch it, but for the past year, 18 months, I've been making a conscious effort to use it as much as I can. So this is definitely doable, I feel like. I feel like I'm on the home straight now, and if I've got the whole year, I'm, I'm gonna get there. Product number four is a blush, and it is my Wet n Wild Color Icon Baked Blush. I've worked on this previously, and I think it was it was either Pan 19 in 2019 or Pan 20 in 2020. I think it was 19, I can't quite remember. And my goal then was to hit Pan on it. This time it's to use it up, get rid of it, get it gone, because I've had this one as well since 2018. I seem to have had an influx, my final influx of a lot of new makeup during 2018, the year before I did my no buy. So that's why I think a lot of things are from that year. But this is such a glowy, glowy powder. I think it's more akin to a highlighter than an actual blush. As you can see, it's super shiny, but I've always used it as a blush topper because it does have quite a heavy pink undertone, which is too much for wearing on the, um, the cheekbones for me. It has too much of a pink cast to it to be able to get away with it. Maybe if you've got a slightly darker skin tone than me or maybe a much deeper skin tone, maybe you'd be able to get away with it better, I don't know. But for me, it's a blush topper all day long and I'm looking forward to using this. Like, I always felt like I had such a healthy glow to my cheeks when I wore this, so I've not worn it for a long time and I'm quite excited about wearing it again. Next, we're on to another mammoth undertaking. My fifth product is a bronzer. And again, you're gonna say, Rachel, you're crazy for this. And it is Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. And do you know what? 
When you look at it, I've used quite a bit of this product, but there is still so, so much left. And especially since you don't need to use an awful lot of it, I've got my work cut out with this one and I don't think I'm gonna to manage to finish it up entirely, but I'm gonna see how far I can get. This is a cream product. I've had it since 2017-ish and I'm not sure that it'll be healthy to keep it beyond sort of this year. I mean, at the moment it smells fine. It feels fine on the face. I don't have any adverse reactions, but I'm not sure how much longer it will last and it probably definitely wouldn't be a good idea to keep it beyond this year. So I'm gonna use up as much as I can of it and then just kind of bid goodbye to it because I don't feel like it will be healthy to keep hold of it for much longer, but I'm happy working my way through it for now because I know that it's not gonna cause me any harm sort of thing because I have been testing it out to make sure it's safe. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to use this up entirely, but it'll be interesting to see how much I can realistically use up before the end of the year. Next is another face product, and this time it is a powder. So I've not got as much of a um, you know, concern that this is gonna go bad, but I've had this for a long time as well. I've had this one since probably 2016, and it is my Kiko Milano Bronzer and Highlighter 2-in-1 and it looks like this. I think it was a limited edition. I got it as a present for Christmas at the time and it's got kind of a glowy bronzer on one side and a glowy highlighter on the other. Now, I'm only gonna concentrate on the highlighter aspect. I think it would be way, way too much to try and work on two bronzers. I think I am ambitious trying to work on one as well as my Pan Matte Face Palette, which I'm still doing. So I think it'd be way too much. So I'm gonna just work on the highlighter and see how far I get with that. At the minute, you can kind of see there, it's flattened off on the highlighter side. It's not quite as dome shaped. And that's because I've used it quite a lot already, but it's such a beautiful highlighter. It'd be such a shame for it to go to waste. It's so glowy and subtle that it's right up my street. I really, really love it. So. I'm gonna really enjoy using this one this year as well. Next is the second of three foundations. Number seven is my Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation. This I have had since 2018 also. So it's really difficult to see where this is up to in the bottle. It's just not managed to settle whatsoever. So I can't really get an accurate idea of how much is in it. I would suspect that there's maybe half or just more than half in it because I have used it quite a lot. I've had this since 2018 also and it's quite a nice foundation. It doesn't shade match me perfectly. It's a little bit too pink, but if I mix it with like my L'Oreal True Match, it will be a lot better. There are ways of making this work for my skin um tonally it's just about mixing it with something else but it's a beautiful foundation i love how it looks on my skin you already know i love using foundations up so there's going to be another one product number eight is the third and final foundation within this project and it is my la colors radiant foundation which i have also had since 2018. i've never heard anybody talk about this foundation i think ever and it's a lovely foundation it's really nice on my normal leading, leaning to dry skin. It always makes it look really healthy. It lasts well during the day. And I don't know what else to say about it. It's just a really nice foundation. And you know, you can kind of see where it's up to there. I've not used an awful lot of it. Um, I've definitely used a bit of it. It's probably what, almost a quarter used. Um, but I've used it a good few times. I know how much I like this and it's always worn really well on my skin. So it should be a nice one to use up. The final two products are from Colourpop and the first one is the Lippy Sticks in the shade Brink. I've had this since about, it's either 2016, 2017. I can't quite remember, it's a long time. I think I had this when I started my channel up or just after I started my channel, I can't quite remember. So this is one of the lippy sticks. It's in the shade Brink, which is kind of a pinkish, mauvey, peachy sort of shade. That's how much is left of it. I will track it on a piece of paper so that I can keep um, track of how much there is. And this is how the shade looks. It's 
quite a mauvey sort of it looks very peachy on camera i don't know if that's how it actually looks on the screen but that's how it looks to me it's a nice shade it's very um wearable with any sort of makeup look and i think that, that is the name of the game when you're using up a lip product i love the lippy sticks formula this is the matte formula it's quite nice it's not too drying and i've used one of these up before they're not too difficult there isn't a ton of product i really struggle with lip products um so we'll see how i get on with this but i think i've got a good chance and then the final product is an eye pencil and it is the colourpop cream gel liner in the shade mr bing this is a brown shade now any of you who have watched my channel for i don't know a couple of years will know how bad i am at panning eyeliners i'm awful at it i just i never seem to get anywhere with it i forget to use them i just don't seem to gravitate to eyeliner pencils so that's the shade of it it's a very very warm quite deep brown and the reason that i chose this one is because with how difficult it is for me to use eyeliners i need one that will be suitable for using every day that won't be too in your face that will be usable with most different eye looks i already find it difficult enough to remember to put an eyeliner on so i do need something that will be very very wearable rather than something that's really in your face and will be used once every blue moon so I think that one is a good shade to go with. It's nice and creamy. It lasts well in the waterline. It doesn't stream right down your eyes. And it's a very, very nice formula. It's one of the best that I've tried. It's really inexpensive. And I've had it for a long time. I think I got this in 2017, 2018. So probably time to get this used up as well. So those are the 10 products. I think I've got a good mixture of ones that are nice and easy to use up and a few more that are challenging. But overall, I think I'm in with a good chance this year just because I'm not working on uh, quite as many products. So it's not as overwhelming. And at some point you kind of got to draw the line because you know, 21 products would just be, whew, I think it'd be too much for me with my other projects as well. So I'm gonna do updates every sort of two months. I think that that's a short enough amount of time that it will keep me motivated to keep working on things, but a long enough period of time that you guys will be able to see progress from one update to the next. That's my thoughts behind it anyway, and I'm, I'm hoping that that's how it works. It worked well um, last year doing more, more um, updates than just four so i think that that's what i'll do again this time so the first update will be mid to late march and we'll see how i've gotten on at that point so i hope you've enjoyed this intro video i'll be back with another video very soon and i'll see you in the next one bye guys <laughs>